Welcome to the video on how to add DR to Isilon Cloud Pools with ECS, part of the Cloud Pools to ECS video series. Cloud Pools is an Isilon feature that reduces Isilon storage costs by tiering infrequently accessed data to the cloud. In this video, we will describe how Isilon Cloud Pools with ECS can be configured to protect the archived data against site-wide failures. We will start by explaining how Cloud Pools DR works and then configure it on a live system. ECS automatically includes support for geo-replication, which provides access to data from multiple sites, as well as data redundancy in case of site failure. Once configured, any data sent to the ECS system from Cloud Pools will automatically be asynchronously replicated to the other ECS sites. Data archived to ECS by Cloud Pools is only accessible through the Isilon cluster, which contains mappings to the cloud data within SmartLink files. The data cannot be accessed directly from the ECS system. As a result, it is important to not only ensure resiliency of the data stored in the ECS system, but also the SmartLink files. The SmartLink files can be protected by NDMP-based backup or SyncIQ. In this video, we will focus on SyncIQ. SyncIQ is a licensed 1FS feature that uses policies to replicate data between Isilon sites. It is cloud pools aware, and if your destination is 1FS 8.0 or later, it recognizes SmartLink files and by default, replicates them without pulling down the data from the ECS system. In the event the source Isilon site has an outage, failover operations can be run by transferring write permission to the target site and redirecting users and applications to the secondary cluster where they can continue to access, view, and modify their data. Now that we have discussed what happens, let's look at a live system to see it for ourselves. We can start off by looking at the ECS system. Here we see the namespace created for cloud pools was configured with a default replication group that specifies to replicate data between two sites. This is all that is required to protect the archived data in ECS from a site-wide failure. Let's switch over to the Isilon UI and confirm that the cloud pools Smart Pools, and SyncIQ licenses are activated on both Cluster 1 and Cluster 2. We have already configured Cloud Pools to archive files from Cluster 1 to ECS. If we look at Isilon Cluster 2, we see Cloud Pools is not configured. To protect access to the archive data, we need to create a SyncIQ policy which will replicate the SmartLink files contained within the Cloud Pools archive directory to a second Isilon site. We give it a name and select when we want the SyncIQ job to run. We specify a source directory, which is the directory we are archiving data from. We also give it a target host and directory, which will be on Isilon Cluster 2. Then we can start the job, which will replicate the Cloud Pools configuration and file pool policy to Isilon Cluster 2. Because a Cloud Pool can only be active on one cluster at a time, these are in a passive state, shown as disabled. It also creates the target directory on this secondary cluster and replicates the SmartLink files. Now, if Isilon Cluster 1 became unavailable, we could simply allow writes to the archive directory on Cluster 2, direct our users and applications to it, where they could continue to access, view, and modify the archive data. By configuring Isilon Cloud Pools and ECS with SyncIQ, we have a massively scalable, enterprise-grade storage solution with extremely high levels of resiliency, including protection against site-wide failures. This concludes this video on how to add DR to Isilon Cloud Pools with ECS. For more information on Cloud Pools, check out our other videos as well as the Isilon Cloud Pools and ECS Solution Guide. Thank you.